Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to do uh, delete uh, rows from a database. So right now, I have my database open, my table for users, and I have all these names. And what I want to do is I want to delete. I'm going to delete somebody. Now, usually, you would delete somebody if they um, didn't want to be a member of your website anymore. If you wanted to delete someone manually. So let's say I wanted to delete. Uh, Matt, Matt Cardwell. I'm going to delete Matt Cardwell. So let's go ahead and write the code for that. Okay, so delete PHP. First thing we're going to do, put our tags, and then our include connect.php. Okay, now uh, it's actually very simple, and here we go. We got our query equals MySQL query. And then inside, we're going to say delete from. And where are you deleting from? Well, database of tutorials, from the table users, where, and then whoever you want to delete. So we wanted to delete first name equals Matt. Now, in case you have more than one Matt, I don't believe we do. Let me just double check. Um, looks like we only have the one Matt, but I'm going to be specific and say Matt and last name Cardwell. So first name Matt and last name Cardwell. And that's it. So let's go ahead and save that. See what happens. So delete. So let's refresh. Okay, no errors. And if we go and browse. Yeah, Matt's gone. Now Matt used to have an ID of five. Notice that that ID is now miss or is gone. It's been deleted, and we have no more Matt Cardwell. Now, what if you just for here we have Casey Johnson? Notice there are no other Caseys. Well, if there's only one Casey, the last name isn't really needed anymore. So we can just say delete where the first name is Casey. So let's save, refresh, and is Casey gone? Casey is gone. Now what happens if you have multiple, for example, Mike D and Mike Veach? Then the last name is needed. So if you had first name Mike, you would need and last name um, and we could do D. And we know that that's going to delete uh, Mike D. Let's just see what happens if you just say delete from the table where the first name is Mike. So is that going to delete everyone that has the first name of Mike? Well, let's find out. So let's refresh. No errors. Okay, so we have Mike D and Mike Veach. Let's browse. Both mics have been deleted. So that's why you have to be extremely careful when you are deleting um, that you are deleting someone. You're, you're probably deleting someone specific. You're not probably not going to delete all the mics from your database. Um, so what you could do is you can say delete where ID equals 2. Now that means delete everyone that has an ID of two. Well, that's the whole point of having an ID, is the ID is a unique, um, well, it, an identifier to the row. There is no other row that has an ID of two. So if I just delete this, so refresh, let's see, does Johnny get deleted, or base, wherever we had an ID of two, that is deleted, and that's it. Uh, I don't really think there's much else. I mean, you can do things like where ID is three or first name is Brian. I don't know why you would do something like that, but you could. So let's just let's actually see what happens. What this is going to do is it's going to delete everyone that has an ID of three. So that would be this Brian. Eh, let's do an ID of seven then. So anyone that has an ID of seven or first name Brian. So these two are going to go away, and ID of seven. So these two Brian's and Jenny. 
will be deleted. Oh, did I actually not refresh? Okay, let's go back. And there you go. So everyone was deleted except for Genie. Um, 